Talking about him at the start of the game, just one of the best in the National League, and a big part of it is his range, and then the strong throwing arm, flat-footed across the diamond, and he throws. As Galloway goes up the middle, spinning his body. And he knew the guy that was receiving it was going to throw him out easily. And you see Rizzo. Uh -huh. Baez, Bodie, wow. Shortstops in our game, and Baez is climbing that ladder. You got to be able to come to the park to watch this guy play. He's all facets of the game. When Turner hit that ball, it was deep left field, and he knew the guy that was receiving it was going to throw him out easily. And you see Rizzo. It's no big thing. But he's being put in again. It's not for a lack of effort. It's just a matter of getting that kind of behind-the-scenes work, that batting practice work to translate into games. As Galloway goes up the middle, spinning his Baez, and the strong throw gets Galloway for the first out in the fourth. Now Baez has been a human highlight reel this three-game series playing in Florida. Two hopper up the middle, spin and throw. Boy, oh boy, he loves to show off the arm, too. Sometimes I wonder if he holds back just a second so that he gets to show it off. Look on this one, Galloway flying down the line. Chopper by the mound, charging from short Baez with a bearing of the throw, just in time. Nice defensive play by Javier Baez. Two away. The headlights look, or just come out ready to play. Next game, no issues. Here we go. Sharply hit, and they're able to turn two to end the game. Six, four, three, a dandy. And the Cubs win their home opener. Cubs win 10-0 the final. Not a lot of drama here today, but a nice win as the Cubs return home. Push the reset button after that tough road trip to start the season. Get a big win in front of a big crowd and a beautiful play by Baez. Starts his double play. Holding his little tap, across the body throw, and a good pick by Caratini. Sing the song. Cubs are 1 and 0 at Wrigley Field. Uh -huh. Baez, Booty, wow. He is a special ball player. Love the glove flip that time from Baez laying on the ground to Booty standing on the bag at second. D-backs got the leadoff man aboard in the 10th, and then Adam Jones hit into a double play. Left side, Baez snares it long. Oh, my goodness. That's not fair. That is not fair. We were talking about him at the start of the game. Just one of the best in the National League, and a big part of it is his range, and then the strong throwing arm. Flat footed across the diamond, and he throws a strike, taking a hit away from Ryan. To lean and lunge like that, but quickly. Breaks his back, slow roller towards third, barehanded by Javi Baez, and he makes the play. Four out number two. Gotta love it. Lead off hitter report for Potter, who struck out earlier. There's a breaking ball that he lines into the right field corner. Suzuki will wrap around to third. Harrell on his way to second. Hayward's throw is in time to get him as Potter slid off the bag. And a good slide here, and great job by Baez. Not in the first time, but stays on him, something you're taught. Right now from the minor league, stay on. And Dan Iasona all over it. Nice call. 
might get a really good look at it here if Para's hand does come off. I, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm not sure on that one, Alex. Baez's body covers it. If it does leave the bag, we don't see it in that look. Well, for sure, Dave Martinez and the Nationals think this is a good place to use a challenge, and I, I would not disagree because they finally got something going against Hendricks if this call is reversed. And I still have not seen a convincing look to overturn the call, however. Oh, maybe right there, right there. Yeah, yep, yep. And the call stands. Spring training that has really benefited players like Colton Wong. We'll have a chance to get into that a little bit later on as Wong is retired here to strand a base runner. That man, Javi Baez. Turner bounces it up the middle. We check Baez, and he's moving around just fine after the moment that he had last inning. And the human highlight reel continues. I mean, this is a dandy. He's throwing from every angle, catching with the glove, catching with the hand. Slick fielding, Javi Baez. The seeds, the chain. Here's a 2-2. Vader reaching for it, hit the short, and Baez, a nice play. We Baez ranging to his left, and he makes the play. And round ball, backhanded Baez. Desmond 2 3. In the hole. Comes Lynn. Comes Lynn. Stroke with a nice return from the IL. Started the inning 3 0 on Murphy, and he goes 1, 2, 3. And the Cubs have won two in a row. It's without a strikeout. Active streak, and no strikeout here. Bias, nice snag. Bobby Baez, when you come to a game at Wrigley Field, good range. Spins and throws the seed to first base. Really Turner bounces the ball to shortstop. Great play by Baez with plenty of time to get his man. Javi Baez made that look a lot easier than it should have. A shortstop right here. Incredible range. And just the athleticism and the flair and the accuracy with a strong arm. Hitting Rizzo right between the numbers. Look at that. The flip that he does that with. That wing leg with a chopper to the shortstop hole. Baez with a long throw and gets it by a stick. I mean, this is so good, it's painful. I mean, to get this ball in shallow left field, great. And a rocket across the infield. The lift becomes very complicated there, gathers himself, great internal clock, and a strike right over the top to Rizzo. Three and one is Starlin. There it is. That throws and gets him.